I attended the Lego at, in 2017 and it was it was as a result of a partial scholarship that I had gotten from uni, uh, high school. So during high school we organized a computer symposium and then the Lego was one of the partners. So among the winners, I was one of them, gave me a partial scholarship to join their program. Initially, I wanted to do film animation, yeah. but then uh, I was convinced to take software development. And I, I had no background in software. I was a good designer, but I didn't know how to code. But then getting to the lessons and being facilitated by the amazing uh, teachers at Zalego, I developed a strong passion on development, especially Java, which serves as my strong backbone in terms of development in the current stage that I am in. So the teachers facilitated a lot in terms of giving me practical skills, giving us uh, assignments, making, making sure that we develop websites, we host it, and, and also improving our portfolio in terms of like the visibility in the tech softwares that we're building. That in itself uh, created a strong base on the software development career that I'm taking. One thing is the culture. We go to visit children's home. That gives you a whole round like skill. So you're not only a developer, but a developer that creates products that are impactful to the, the society. The second highlight was the fact that the, the institution focused more about completing a whole development process. So that includes when you're doing web, for example, they'd make sure that you build a website at the end of the day. So you'd build two. I built like five websites by the time I was out of Zalego. I had built like three application, mobile application. So those in itself, considering that I had come from high school where I didn't know anything about code, and after seven months, then I'm, I'm like good in like building those two stacks. That created like a very big upper edge. Uh, during campus, you are required to go for attachment, and my first thought was the Lego, obviously. Coming back, uh, Dennis took us through like a session of mentorship, and he actually personally taught me how to schedule. I had all these goals that I was supposed to achieve, and you'd, you'd think that you come to this institution to learn coding and maybe advance in coding, but then they also teach you, mentor you on like time management, scheduling tasks, and making sure that you complete everything that you've started. So I think they have like a strong mentorship base that allows every person, be it students or staff, to actually grow and be in that environment that exploits their, their potentials. Coming from, from the Lego with all these skills, uh, I was prepared to go out there, bid for work. Apart from uh, teaching us how to code, they also taught us how to write contracts and how to approach different clients. And so my first gigs were definitely uh, software development gigs. I built websites for clients in Mombasa. I built websites for organizations in Mombasa. So that uh, transitioned well into like, the industry. My transition to business. I am a co-founder of a company called Kosha, which is a professional laundry service. And what we do is like we, we ensure that uh, laundry houses and the normal brick and mortar uh, institution of laundry are able to connect to the, the wider online market and they are able to have like traffic from online to and customers who would require uh, online services. The skills learned from the institution helped me a lot in, in building process. So I don't have to hire developers. I can build the whole tech infrastructure and also uh, speed up the development process and in the innovative process. So currently the business is doing well. We have closed uh, our strategic partners and that's thankful to like uh, the whole development and, and mentorship and invitation that was gained from the program. It's something that you need to consider given that the next generation is transitioning to digital and you'll have to know like the next level technology, AI, blockchain, uh, and how it integrates to the community so that you can build products that are 
usable and, and able to, to be modeled in your, in your society or in your ecosystem.